What is community policing? In all democratic societies, the tasks of a police service are many and complex. The police maintain law and order, they prevent and combat crime, they protect and respect fundamental rights and freedoms, and they provide assistance and services to the public. The police cannot do all of this on their own. Effective crime prevention requires a shared commitment and ownership by police and the public. That is the premise of community policing. The OSCE, along with the United Nations, defines community-oriented policing as a strategy for encouraging the public to act as partners with the police in preventing and managing crime, as well as other aspects of security and order based on the needs of the community. Community policing is not a new invention. In 1829, Sir Robert Peel, known as the father of modern policing, established the London Metropolitan Police Force based on the idea of building and strengthening a bond of trust between communities and the police. Today, in the OSCE area, community policing has emerged alongside traditional policing methods as a key strategy for enhancing the safety of our societies. How does community policing work? Let's start with an example. In this city, youth are hanging around in the park in the evenings. People in the neighborhood do not feel safe walking through the park after dark. This problem cannot be resolved through crime response alone. What could community police officers do? They might organize a meeting where residents, municipal officials, and school representatives can look for solutions together. The municipality might arrange a place where youth can meet, set up more lights, and encourage dog owners to walk their dogs in the park. School teachers might speak about the problem with their students in the classroom. Police officers might patrol the park more visibly and frequently and build a personal relationship with the young people. In partnership with others, community policing provides increased safety for all. To achieve such partnerships, the police must be integrated into the community. They must be seen and be approachable, know the neighborhood and be known, listen to people's concerns, respond to the community's needs, engage and mobilize citizens' groups, be accountable for their activities, Key strategies for translating these principles into practice include defining fixed neighborhood areas with permanently assigned police officers, introducing visible and accessible police officers and police facilities, reorienting patrol activities to emphasize non-emergency servicing, engaging communities to create partnerships, Introducing a proactive problem-solving approach. Involving all government agencies and services. Involving all branches of the police. Community policing means building partnerships of trust between the police and the people. When all segments of society cooperate to prevent and combat crime, the result is improved safety and quality of life for all.